everybody. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Kelly, uh, otherwise known as Thready or Not. I am a part-time reseller on um, eBay, Poshmark, and Etsy. Um, and what I have today is a little bit of a haul. Uh, my mom came to town uh, over this last weekend, and so we hit up just two thrift stores, actually. Um, we didn't have a ton of time because she was in town for something else, so I uh, figured I would get on and show the few things that I did get. Um, the average cost for all of my items on this, it was $1.37 uh, when I calculated it out. Um, and there were a couple things I lotted together um, just because I planned to sell them together, so I did that as one uh, piece. Uh, there's a few things that won't be in here, just some things I got for my daughter, a couple of um, like champion workout shirts uh, for when she plays basketball, um, and I think that was it. Oh, and a swimsuit. I actually got her swimsuit too. And that's all calculated into this as well. So um, I'll show you the few things that I got and um, my plans for them. Excuse me. Uh, the first one is just something for me. Uh, it's actually a just a Morona men's cardigan, um, but my plan is to wear that oversized with leggings. Um, so I figured I would get that. One of the thrift stores we stopped at had, uh, it's one we've been to before, but they had a sale where all of their blue tag items were 25 cents. So I'm not going to pass up 25 cents. And so there's a few things in here while um, my cost of goods was $1.37 that it sort of evened out the more expensive things and the less expensive things. I find that's an easier way to um, just calculate what I'm spending overall. Um, but there were some things that were a quarter, and so that was a pretty good deal. Um, I got a few baby items, actually, not for me, thankfully, um, but my stepson is going to be a dad, so I picked up a few items, so, um, just this, uh, sort of, it's not a snowsuit, but, you know, when you're getting kids in and out of the car, especially in the fall, so it's a little bare. And then, uh, this onesie was just too cute. It's little, um, John Deere tractors. Just a little long sleeve onesie. And then these are three uh, just zip front sleepers. So when it comes to baby stuff, I buy functional. I don't necessarily buy the um, super cute frilly thing because after having been a mom, uh, I know that you need burp cloths, you need nooks, which is actually another thing I found new in the package. So pick those up. Um, and then the zip front sleepers. I do not like messing around with the buttons, or at least I didn't when I had a baby. So uh, those are the kinds of things that I buy, and this is no different. Um, so a couple of the small things that I got. Um, I picked up some earrings. So these ones are actually just for me. Um, they're sort of a... Let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit. But um, they're just little, sort of a wood and aqua square, and I thought they were super cute. Um, these next few things, I am, sorry for the noise, I plan to do a lot of um, sort of 80s, 90s earrings. So there's like a purple, almost zebra stripe pair. There are these pink glitter ones. There are these really three-dimensional blue balls. Tee -hee -hee. And then um, these sort of like abstracty triangles. Um, so those I lotted all together, the ones I planned to sell, they were actually a quarter each, but um, I lumped them all together. So together they're that $1.37. Um, I picked up some vintage gift wrap. So this isn't a fast seller by any means, um, but for one set of it, you can get anywhere between 6 and $10. Um, I think I've got a bunch around, so my plan might be to lot some together. So people use this A as gift wrap, but also for like scrapbooking. Um, so this is just uh, like a very old fashioned, um, you know, country checkerboard. Uh, this one's a little bit of a newer one, but it's a pretty, you know, wedding. Uh, this one is some, oh, this one actually has two. So this was interesting. I had a bunch that were stuck together in a bag. So I think the bag was like 99 cents. So I'm like, whatever, I'll pick it up and see what's in there. Um, but this one is actually all British um, stamps. So like there's some princess dyes in there. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And then the other um, piece in here is just some sunflowers. Um, and then this is another sort of wedding Easter. Um, so for some of these, I can have a lot of different keywords. This is something I only list on Etsy. 
um, because I find that it just does not get any attention on eBay. So um, for something like this, though, I mean, I can put Easter, I can put wedding, I can do communion, baptism, um, anything like that because it's got sort of the, sort of has that feel. Um, and then this is another just single piece of wedding gift wrap. So I could do like a lot of all wedding stuff. Um, and then this is another sort of like watercolor kind of wedding theme. Um, let's see. Uh, this is a pair of uh, Hudson jeans, just sort of a, with the classic, you know, Hudson back flap. Um, they're not in stellar shape, but my guess would be I'll still get, you know, 30 bucks out of them, 25, 30. Um, so there's those. Oh, this is another thing. This one thrift store, um, it's a sort of charity run shop. And so they have great prices, obviously, but also like really interesting stuff sometimes. So this is a, it's a double sided eyeglass case. Um, so it's got the flaps on both sides, um, but it says on it that it's genuine eel skin. So I'll give this a little shine up with um, some leather cleaner, um, but it's got that like super 90s color block. And that's another great keyword. Um, just a pair of Banana Republic gray pants. They are the Martin fit. So whenever something has a fit like that, I think that works in your favor as a reseller because um, if somebody is looking for that specific thing that they like, um, they can just type that in and they'll be able to filter from there. Uh, very similar here. These are also Banana Republic, but these are the Sloan fit. I'll move my earrings out of the way so you don't hear them clinking and clanking. So there's Banana Republic, the Sloan fit. Um, and they're just sort of a chevron, herringbone kind of pattern, if you can see that. So, uh, just some great career trousers. If those were my size, I would just wear those myself. Uh, this is, these are, <laughs> these are old man pants, is essentially what I would call them. They are like 70s polyester stretch khaki pants. The brand is McGregor. So I can just picture some, some oh, super cool hipster dude who likes to dress like an old man. Uh, we'll just love those. These I am deciding I'm going to have my daughter try them on. And if they don't fit her, I will just sell them. Um, they're BDG. That's a brand that's sold at Urban Outfitters. Um, and they are just a skinny, a skinny leg jean. Um, I say I'll have my daughter try them because she's in that weird space between like kid sizes and excuse me really junior -y sizes so um, she also does not like buttons she does not like buttons on pants so we'll see how those go but if nothing else I'll just sell them um, these do I mean they have a brand but not one any I think anybody's ever heard of Jeep Millie Geep Millie um, but the reason I got them is, well, they were a quarter. Uh, but the other reason was they have this cool, um, like, detail around the waistband. And they are also just super 90s, like, wide flare leg. Um, so I figured that I could throw them out there as sort of that vintage. Um, wait, there we go. They are a 32, which is a great size. I don't want to see where they are. So they were made in China. So they're a newer... They've got to be somewhat newer, but I just thought with those details, they were kind of cool. Um, we are getting down to <laughs> some of the really interesting, I, I'll, I'll show you when we get there. Uh, this is just a pair of vintage Gap jeans. They are a 1516, but look at that stone wash with the tapered ankle. I am very excited for these. My guess would be, you know, they're high-waisted, they're mom jeans, um, they're all of those keywords. So I'm excited for that. This is a brand that I haven't seen before, but I've seen in other YouTube videos, so I know it's an anthropology brand, um, but it's Daughters of the Liberation. Uh, it is a size 2, so, you know, teensy tiny, uh, but there are teensy tiny girls out there. Uh, and it is this khaki sort of button front. It almost reminds me of like a safari like a safari item, but it's got these, um, like the coconut buttons. So the, it's got a button fly. 
that. So I thought that was very cool. Uh, this was a brand I hadn't heard of. I honestly pulled it out just because the shirt felt so nice. Um, but my mom actually knew this brand. So Chubby's, um, it is a men's uh, short sleeve t-shirt. It's got these sort of ringer uh, sleeves. I mean, just the the t-shirt feels very nice. You know how when you touch something that just has a good weight to it? That's what this is. So she said that it was a brand that sells really well, and so, um, or it was at least an expensive brand originally, so I thought I would just pick that up and give it a shot. And um, so for somebody who either loves that brand or maybe is looking for something fun for the beach, so I got that. So uh, this particular thrift store that we were at, um, I found a ton of belts of all things. So I don't normally, I've got, I've sold some belts in the past, um, but uh, they just had really unique ones and I had a hard time throwing anything back. Uh, so this first one is just a fossil belt. Um, it's sort of got these, you know, three dimensional leather pieces. It's got some cutouts, um, but it's all done in this really pretty kind of artsy artsy pattern so there's that one uh, this one is I got prime two reasons so it's Italian calf skin the brand is WCM um, but it's got this really pretty almost alligator kind of print to it the buckle was really cool so I think it's obviously a plastic piece but it almost has like a shell um, look to it. So I thought that was really lovely. This is another, it was just too cool to leave behind. Um, so it's a, I think it's wood or bamboo, one or the other. My guess would be wood just based on the coloring. Um, but it's got this sort of wooden buckle, uh, it's just a slide back, but you just sort of slide it in. It's a little adjustable. Um, so I thought that would just be really cute with um, a dress and like a little fedora. Uh, this is, I got this uh, for two reasons, because it was obviously very nice. It's all leather. It has this sort of like Western look buckle um, and it's Banana Republic. It's a 29 inch, um, so a little bit smaller, but this is one of those things that could be worn men's, women's, everybody. And the end has sort of that Western-y vibe to it as well or like a southwest I should say uh, this is a Tommy Bahama belt it's made in Spain so it's leather and then it, I mean it's just got the two-tone sort of like the braided and then that it has uh, kind of this it almost looks to me to be like bamboo that kind of look which would make sense with Tommy Bahama so there's that one I cannot believe I bought so many belts. Every one that I was looking at, because as I sort of pick things out, my mom and I go through them together and go, okay, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? And she was like, well, that's too cute to not keep. Well, that's too cute not to keep. So she was a bit of an enabler. She'll watch this and say she wasn't, but she was. Uh, this is just a fossil belt, uh, but again, I thought this would be really cute for the summer, wrapped around a dress. Um, sort of cinch in the waist um, so it's you know got the sort of woven braided look throughout the belt and then it's got a solid um, end and a little bit of an oversized buckle this is another this one's land's end so that's kind of the reason why I got this one because honestly finding good belts and cute belts is really hard and they're expensive more expensive than I think it should be for a belt um, so there you can see it's that woven pattern throughout, um, so making it very adjustable. It's a large 3336. It's got a bit of an oversized buckle. Two more belts. Again, this is one that I got because it has sort of that Southwest vibe. So the buckle or the um, clasp itself has kind of that Southwest vibe, uh, as does sort of the end, but all along the back, it's got these um, little, oh, I don't even, embellishments, let's say, but they're 
pushed through to the other side. It's made in the USA, which tells me that it's probably a little bit older, but the belt itself is in great shape, and I thought it would have some really cool keywords with, like, sun god and buffalo and turtle. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, this one uh, was just really unique again. So um, it's an it was made in Morocco, so somebody either shipped it here or brought it back from vacation or something, but you can see that on the back. But this is all leather, leather and then um, sort of metal work along it. So you can see that it's got the studs, it's got this sort of tarnished metal uh, on each of the little pieces, and it's super adjustable. So you can wear it through any of the holes. So you could wear it, you know, just like this. If it needed to be smaller, you could do it from one of the top holes and then like let that piece hang down in the front. Um, so I just think this is gonna be something really cool. I think that primarily that'll be on Poshmark. Um, and then these are two, the last two things. Um, I didn't look these up in the store, but I thought they were unique enough that somebody somewhere would like them. So the first one is this Rocky Mountain belt buckle. It is very heavy. It is uh, brass. It is from 1978. It has a number on here. It says N25. So I'll have to do some research, but I mean, even look at the back of it, even the back of the belt buckle. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. I mean, you can see just the detail that was put into even holding these pieces together. So um, I think that will be very uh, interesting item either for somebody who collects and likes that sort of thing or uh, just for somebody who's a little bit on the younger side and wears, likes to wear different things. Um, and then this one, same thing. So this one is from the Alamo um, and it's from 1981 and it's from the Great American Buckle Company. Uh, it's got a serial number on here, 19 or 174. So again, I think it'll be a piece, there we go, um, that'll just be a little bit unique and different for people who um, either collect that sort of thing or are just into it. So uh, those are the few things that I got. Um, my goal this week is hopefully to get some of them photographed and listed, primarily the belts, I think, because uh, I'm doing a bunch of flat lay stuff yet. So that's going to be my goal. Um, if you have any questions on anything, let me know. Leave comments down below. Um, if you watch this video and you enjoyed it, please like it, subscribe. Um, the goal here is to share what I know been a reseller for a little over a year now, just part-time. Um, and so I just really enjoyed being part of the community. So I'm welcoming other people to kind of join me on this journey that I'm going through as well. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.